Now, before we get too far along in actually interpreting our CTPE study, it's important to take a step back and do a little bit of setting optimization and some quality control measures. So I'm just going to walk you through a few things that I think are very helpful before you start actually interpreting the, the CT scan um, that are going to make it a little bit easier for you to actually evaluate for the um, the PEs that you're looking for. Now, uh, the first thing that we can do is actually try to make sure that we window the study appropriately. We oftentimes start with like a regular soft tissue window, which is what we have here. Um, and what can be useful is to manually widen your window and then also increase your level so that you can see the pulmonary artery a little bit more clearly and be able to kind of look for uh, filling defects a little bit more easily. If you stick to something like a soft tissue window, oftentimes it's just the window is too, too small and the level is too low and it's just way too bright. You can miss filling defects here. Um, it, it will vary study to study, but oftentimes there can be presets that are for CTA, CT angiography. Um, and that's kind of the preset that we have here, which is very similar to kind of how we um, windowed things manually. So one of the first things to start with is just making sure you window your study appropriately so you can see the filling defects that you're looking for very clearly.